Jingle bells, jingle bells, jingle all the way. Oh, Des, where did the star go on top of the tree? We got no star at the top. It's that time of year, folks. The Christmas holiday cheer. What's going on, YouTube? It's your boy, Nick, a.k.a. Get This Nick. We are back with another video. We're doing something a little different. It's the holiday season here in Chicago. We're going to the Chris Kindle Market. <laughs> How you say it? Yeah. Chris Kindle Market. It's supposed to be a basically Christmas festive holiday thing downtown in Chicago that attracts over a million people every single year. I've lived here for 27 years. I've never gone to it once because I really don't care to go because it's probably going to be about $45 for parking, $25 for a hot chocolate. But they love to advertise on the website that it's free admission. But they just get you everywhere else. So Des and I are going to go for the night, our Saturday night plans. I'll show you guys what she's wearing now. All right, let's see. Stop. Come on, turn around. What is that hat? What's wrong with that? We gotta first take Chancho for a walk. What are you doing? You wanna go for a walk? You wanna go for a walk? Yeah, we're gonna take her for a walk, hopefully tire her out, and then go spend a couple hours downtown. I know I've been MIA on doing some of the YouTube videos. I've been posting the YouTube shorts and just funny comedy stuff, but I kind of want to do something a little different, a little like vlog type style video for today. Kind of document what's going on with this Chris Kindle market or however you pronounce it or say it. So we're going to go ahead and walk this dog. We're going to head to the city, try to get some videos of you guys for you guys of uh, us spending ridiculous amounts of money on hot chocolate and holiday peppermint sweets. All right, here she is, ready to go. This is Bobo with her pink harness. She obviously doesn't look too happy, but she's got to go for her walk. One of the most comfortable shoes you can get. These New Balance 9060s. So New Balance, if you're watching this, give me a free pair of some shoes, all right? So apparently this market is known for, what is that, uh, the cheese thing? The Recolette sandwich. Recolette sandwich. It's the sandwich that everyone is going there and making videos of and posting it on their TikTok. Um, it basically just looks like, I'll just throw a picture up right on the screen. But a bunch of melted cheese slapped onto a what? What's the meat on there? I don't know. It just looks really good. We're going to find out. But yeah, it's supposedly, that's like the number one thing people keep bragging about is posting that sandwich on there so we'll definitely have to get that and i gotta get a hot chocolate because i haven't had one yet this year it's just like christmas tradition you know what i mean frosty the snowman Excited. We don't like the Chicago Cubs though, we're Sox fans.
All right, so the first thing we got is this hot chocolate. There's two different cups. The to-go one is the one I got, and she, of course, had to have the souvenir mug, which looks like that. Is there whipped cream on there, too? Mm -hmm. That one's mine. And although we didn't order them, I guess with every purchase, they throw in these little gingerbread man cookies. Right here. All right, so about $30 gets you two cookies and two hot chocolates. I'm letting mine cool down for a second. She obviously couldn't wait. She's going to town, so I'm going to walk away from her. So the Chris Kindle Mark is free admission all outside. But when you're here, you could also go into the Winterland at Gallagher Way, which apparently is ice skating. So we're in line for this famous sandwich. And of course, it's the longest line here. It's a green onion, baby, pickle, Dijon mustard. Yep, that's fine. Thank you. This my only vision. I don't need any presents. Cause I know I have you. I just need you and me. And I know it will be a magic quality. Oh, oh, you make it all okay. so we waited in line about i don't know 40 minutes for this sandwich it's basically salami cheese i think some mustard and pickles mm -hmm. it's like 19 dollars for this thing the line's insane everyone's raving about it i guess we'll see how this thing is and if it's worth it did you take a picture huh did you take a picture of it <laughs> Hang on, we gotta take a picture for Instagram before I continue. Okay, we're back. So here we go, first bite of this thing. Let's see if it's worth it. I don't want to eat any of this paper. There's cheese all over you. <laughs> it's good. I don't think it's all that, but... It's good. <laughs> what do you think? Is it worth 45 minutes of your time in line? I think so. I don't. <laughs> so there's there's a bunch of stuff at this market. It's basically a bunch of little shops, vendors, like pop-ups from all over the place. Chicago, neighborhoods here, but this is actually from Wisconsin, this sandwich. Um, and you know, they all have their set prices, and it's a lot of sweets apple cider, hot chocolate. There is alcohol, she doesn't want to be on camera eating. But, um, this sandwich is supposed to be the real deal, so it's it's pretty good. Is it is it worth 45 minutes waiting in line? $20 with tag, like $18, $19. I don't know, but. We had to try it because it's been going viral. It's all over TikTok. It's the big craze. So we came and we saw, we conquered. I don't know what we're gonna do now. Oh, she wants to go to the bar down the street. It is nice though being here because we are in Wrigleyville. So there's like literally bars, restaurants and a ton of stuff all around here. Um, and yeah, luckily it's not too bad with the weather. No rain, and it's like 40 degrees, so we're managing, but yeah.
right, so we did the sandwich. It was okay. We got it to dessert. I already got into this. This is mini pancakes, Nutella, strawberries, and powdered sugar. So it's really good. But like I was saying, I feel like when you come here, it's all sweets and drinks. There's a sandwich, there's pretzel, there's bratwurst I saw. But other than that, it's a lot, a lot of sweets. Cookies, elephant ears, this. Show them what you got. Whatever, a waffle with M&M's and yeah, with chocolate on it. It's a lot of sweets. So if you're coming here, you like desserts it's the place to be all right well that's a wrap what are your final thoughts i love it <laughs> it fun. it's cool it's like something to do to get out of the house and do but it's a uh, it's a lot of sweets so be prepared either starve yourself the day of or be ready to go to the gym because it's a lot a lot of sugar all right so we are officially back home from our experience with the Chris Kindle market. Um, just wanted to do something a little bit different for you guys, trying to incorporate some vlogs. We have some uh, plans coming up soon to do a little bit of a ski trip. Um, we have, we're going up to Wisconsin in a couple weeks just for the day. So I'll get a video. I'll try to get some content for you guys of that. And, um, we also have a trip planned in March to go to Colorado to go to Telluride and uh, ski out west for the first time, which we've never done. So I'm planning on trying to document all that and incorporate it and get some video footage of that for you guys, too. So you guys could check that out. But yeah, as always, appreciate you guys tuning into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, all that good stuff. We'll see you guys on the next video. Peace!